Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome back to another episode of Music Video Editing Breakdown. I have one other episode of this up so far, so I'm going to put them all in a playlist for you to find if you missed it. But this is a series where I go through a music video and pull out a couple of editing effects and tricks that I can show you how to recreate in either Premiere Pro or After Effects or Photoshop or whatever. So remember, not everything in a music video is an effect. A lot of things are done in camera techniques or fog machines and stuff like that, but I can show you some color effects and transitions and things like that. So today's video that we're going to be breaking down quickly is Big Sean's Bounce Back music video. Got a lot of requests for this, so I wanted to do it next. The video actually has a lot of interesting and complex looking effects, and I don't know how they did every single effect, but I still wanted to make this video, and I was able to pick out what I think are the two most interesting looking effects in the video, is how to get that pinkish looking sky or half pink color grading, and how to replicate that liquidy distortion effect when he moves side to side, uh, kind of like on that yellow backdrop scene. So those are the two effects I'm going to recreate in this video. And to do this, I'm going to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got some clips on the timeline. And first, let's recreate that half pink sky color effect. So to begin creating our pink sky, I'm going to go to my Project Media Bin. I'm going to make sure it's highlighted. And I'm going to go to File, New, Black Video. This is just going to give me a blank black video for me to click and drag over my track or my clips. So now that I have this blank video, I'm going to generate a color gradient or ramp on it. So if I go to my effects panel, I can search ramp, and you should also find this under the generate video effects folder, and I can click and drag it onto my black video. Now I can begin creating a color ramp. So in the video, you'll often see that there's a pinkish gradient on top, but normal colors on the bottom, or even kind of like a darkish blue on the bottom if you want. And what I'm going to do is actually just set the blending mode of this to multiply. Now, this is setting the blending mode of the overall layer. That's why we created a separate layer. And that gives us that interesting color effect that you see in the original video, except for I'm not going to do the blue. This is kind of more for those scenes where you saw with maybe the girl in the tree. But for this, I'll keep it white. And when something's white and you set the layer to multiply, then it essentially disappears. So now I have that pinkish sky and regular bottom half. If you want, you can play around with the starting of the color ramps. So if I set this back to normal just to show you, I can move the starting position down or right or up to adjust which sections I want to be pink or how strong I want things to be. And you can also try to play around with different blending modes, like instead of multiply, I could try darken. And that's a cool way to colorize half your video or play around with two-tone and split color effects and keep things on different blending modes like multiply. So that'll give you... Next, I'm going to show you how to create that liquidy side-to-side -side motion effect and lens distortion. So I'll drag another clip on the timeline to begin working with. And this is a similar clip to in the music video, just against a blank background. And in order to make that lens distortion effect, I'm going to go to my effects panel. I'll open up the distort video effects folder. And there's a couple effects that I can try to play around with. So there's wave warp or turbulent displace or lens distortion. So one you could do is wave warp. So I could click drag this on the clip, or if you want, you can drag these on an adjustment layer above the clip by highlighting your project and going to File, New, Adjustment Layer, making sure you drag that over the clips that you want to work with, and then you can drag these effects onto the adjustment layer. So that's what I'll do in this case. And you can click and drag these effects on and then adjust the sizing of them. So the way we can adjust the wave warp is by turning up the wave height and width so that we end up with just one or two waves and then make sure the pinning is set to all edges so you don't get those black bars and then you can lower the wave speed so that it's not really going at all or if you want it to be going you can keep it going zero will make it freeze 0.2 is going to be really slow but when you play the clip and someone moves side to side it'll kind of move through those waves however another effect that you can do aside from the wave warp or on top of it is drag a lens distortion on there 
and then adjust the lens distortion so that you get a lot of distortion around the edges like you saw in the video. So if I make the curvature heavily negative, so like negative 50 or something, I can also begin to adjust things like the vertical or horizontal decentering. Just want to make sure I don't get any of that edge showing. And I can get a distortion on the particular edge of the photo that I want so that when I press play to preview my clip, I can see that things are moving side to side in the frame and they're being sucked into these distortion zones near the edges where things get super distorted, kind of like you see in the music video. So that's just one or a couple different ways to think about doing it. So those are just two of the effects that you'd see in the Big Sean bounce back music video. Obviously there's a lot more color grading and sky replacement and some cool special effects like those light beams that you see. So check out some of my other tutorials for maybe some starts on how to start thinking about going on more advanced effects like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Music Video Editing Breakdown and pulled out maybe a couple techniques and ideas you can get and experiment with similar techniques on projects of your own. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely check out my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with what's going on on the channel and me. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.